Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Will of the Nerds. My name is Will and today we're doing something different. So if you haven't picked up on it at all, I am uh, a Magic fan, Magic the Gathering, and I have a plethora of, of decks. I have probably close to 100 decks, most of which I just made or made or made around cards that I had in my collection because I used to have a massive collection. Well, granted, I didn't start playing Magic till um, Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatch. So those are the, the the set that I had the most of. But I, I've since trimmed my collection. And I kept the rare cards that um, were interesting to me. I kept the cards that I thought I'd be able to make a deck around. So we are on deck stats as you can see up here just ignore all the other stuff hopefully nothing bad popped up but um we're on deck stats which is the one website i learned i believe through one of my friends um is a place where you can put your decks up um i know there's a couple other sites uh that keep track of your magic collections uh, i know tapped out you can put uh your decks up on there but for some reason, I just like deck stats a little more. I, I don't know why. But uh, so every week now, uh, every what, what was it? Just every Wednesday, I'm going to upload a magic video or a D&D video. Um, basically, either on deck stats, going over my decks, like putting my decks in here and talking about them and going over them. Or um, I might go into, I might get a character creation on the computer and go like make a DD and d character. Or maybe go over my like campaign ideas while I'm making a map or something. But um, I gotta find a few more websites for like the D&D stuff. There's one I have, but it doesn't have a whole lot um, that you can use. But I mean, I guess without further ado, we can get in here. So I'm just... I pulled out four decks that we're going to do. Uh, each one's going to be an episode, so it's going to be broken into four parts. But uh, I just randomly pulled four out to start recording. Like I like I do everything, I record in bulk. So um, I pulled out my Assassin's Rogue deck. So let's go ahead and Rogue deck. Uh, punch that in. The format I play is just casual. Um, I'll leave it public that way if any of you guys are interested in like tweaking or looking at the decks I've made uh, then you can just head on uh, on to it here um, it's yeah will of the nerds um, so if you type that in my username should come up but um, yes I, I get basically the gist of this so um, card enter card name so the tough part is uh, the the first few decks that I am going to put down, I have been using, so they're going to be shuffled. So you're probably going to be hearing cards slap in the background while I go over them and separate everything. But you think, in hindsight, would probably have been something I would have done first, but, you know, I'm a professional YouTuber here. And this is something that... It's something different. I'm trying to a couple different things to see what takes off, because um, YouTube, as I'm sure most of you know, is completely swamped with gameplay videos and uh, reaction videos, which is a big thing now. And I I haven't really seen anything lately of people going over like their magic collections or um, going over their decks and things like that and it's something interesting you know like most of the people on the internet i'm not really going to be playing with so i don't have a problem with them seeing my seeing my deck if you know what i mean um so it, I, i'm sorry if you hear the the clacking of the keyboard and stuff um this is my i say it's my quiet keyboard um it's better than the one i have in my drawer which is really clacky so you know you just gotta gotta suffer so uh we are gonna start once i get the land separated we are gonna start with the land base which is uh, i have special lands I, I prefer having full art lands or the um the ravnica um pre-made decks that came out 
I like having those lands. I like having stuff that's th they look different than regular basic lands. That's just me. Uh, once I have enough to do it for all of my decks, that's the plan. But hey, you know, that's going to take a while. So we'll start with the swamps. That's two, four, six. Like, let's make sure I got this right. Two, four, six, eight, nine swamps. So it should just type in swamps. Maybe just swamp. Yeah, swamp. Nine of those bad boys. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's, there we go. I guess I should have put that in first. Nine. There we go. Nine swamps. Then we'll come over. I got islands in this bitch. So that's two, four, six islands. So let's put these over out of the way. Let's go down to six. Type in islands. Islands. Cool. All right. They made this a lot easier than I remember it. Um, okay. So we have Golgari Guild Gates. I only have two of those in this deck. And uh, once I get into... You'll, you're going to see my awesome uh, spelling here. Yeah, see? Right? I just fucked it up already. Uh, Gul Gulgari Guildgates. Ugh. No, I don't want six of them. I only want... No, I know what it looks like, too. I just want... I just want two. That's, that's all I want. Um, and I believe a playset of Demir. Yes, a playset of Demir. A playset's four. Also, if any of you guys watching are interested in me doing a um, like a, a guide on how to play magic uh, I'm all for that I, I can do that uh, I'm interested in doing that and I have a Simic guild gate but I feel like okay um, let's see here Yeah, let's get rid of one of these islands. I didn't know. I think I had. I didn't have another Simic Guild Gate, which is why I did this. So, let's go eight of them and two Simic Guild Gates. That way, I, I like even numbers too. So, just you know, ignore me. Okay, so now I need to get in here and separate everything into colors for my cards. So this deck, as you can probably tell, is three colors. It is blue, black, and green, but it mainly runs black and blue. There's only a little bit of green in it, and um, once I get to it, you'll find out what it is. Um, oops, sorry, hit the microphone. Audio spike. Make sure you're still awake. All right, let's get them off the keyboard so they don't slide. All right, um, black cards over there, multi cards here. Uh, yeah, there's there's more black than anything else. And what I like about this website is uh, once you're done putting your cards in, it tells you everything. It tells you how much you have in this color. It tells you your mana base. It tells you um, your mana curve. It's it's neat. It gives you all kinds of shit. It gives you the price of the cards. Like, there's all kinds of stuff it does it once you're done with putting your cards in. So now I have the black cards separated. So now let's just get, let's pull all the creatures out. Um, the non-legendary creatures, because I, I have a lot of legendary creatures in this deck. Okay. Um, all right. So we have two royal assassins. And a royal assassin, he does. Well, let's let's bring a, bring his picture up here. Let's see what he does. Oh, see, look at that. They have the buy list on there. That's cool. He just taps, destroy target tapped creature. So, somebody attacks you, you don't like it, or somebody attacks your friend and you don't like it. Guess what? You can tap royal assassin and destroy that creature, as long as it don't have hexproof, because you know can't do none of that. And then we have dark imposter, two of them. And uh, again, we'll bring it up. Dark Imposter. Look, 35 cents. Cheap as fuck. You pay that, exile target creature, and put a plus one, plus one counter on him. And he has all activated abilities of all creatures exiled this way. Um, that's pretty cool. Because then that lets me, you know, steal awesome abilities off of 
uh, my friends who like to play shenanigan decks. So if they have big fancy creatures, I can basically just steal their creatures. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can tap, destroy them, or I can exile them. And my, I, this deck in multiplayer does okay, but it kind of runs out of steam. I think it's more made for single player um, decks or playing against single player, you know, one on one. And then we have Gaunty Lord of Luxury. We have three of him in this deck. I very rarely play um, play sets. Uh, I don't know why. That's just how I am. I I guess I play around until I figure out uh, a card I like, I guess, or a card that works well. Um, and then we have uh, when it enters the battlefield, look at the top four uh, cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, and I can play that card. So, it's cool. I'm stealing cards from the opponent. Me likey. And then we have Kiku. Knights. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, I have an extra eye in there. Uh, Kiku. Knights Flower. And, like usual, uh, ooh, I don't want three of her. I just want two. Okay, we'll click on her, see what she does. Look at that. I, I, I really like that. I don't think they had that last time. Either they did or I wasn't paying attention. I like this because in most cases, her ability is going to destroy creatures because it deals damage to itself. So, at most ca in in a rare occurrence, uh, most creatures you go up against, at least in playing against my friends, um, they have the same power toughness. So you know. Uh, and then we have Furtis the Veiled, which I really enjoy too. Because when he does damage, it takes your life down. Half their life. It's, um, what the hell? Does it have the set on here too? Because, like, a battle bond. Yeah, battle bond. That's what, okay. I couldn't remember off the top of my head what it was. And now we kind of get into, I, I'm done with the black creatures. So now we are into the cards that I really like. So we have to the slaughter. We have Planeswalker and Creature Destruction. That's basically what the rest of the black cards in here are. They are Creature and Planeswalker Destruction. Uh, Ruinous Path. Two of those. Right. Yep. Ruinous Path. Destroy target creature or Planeswalker. And Frasca's Contempt does the same thing. Uh, oops, nope. It wants the... Okay, yeah, it wants that stuff in there. So I think Frasca's Contempt is probably... Oh, no, she went down price. She was a little more expensive last time I made this deck. So that exiles them. It doesn't destroy them. That's why she was expensive. Uh, she might be out of modern now, which is probably why. And then we have Heroes Downfall, which is the same thing. It destroys target creature or planeswalker. So let's find it there. Yep. Here's Downfall. And I got a foily version of it. So yay. Well, TCG players the most. Usually that's the cheapest. So now we can go over to the blue. As you can see, it's it's all black cards right now. It hasn't been... There's no green. And we'll get into the multicolored creatures last. So let's get the blue creatures done, which there are only two. Um, Grimoire Thief which I'm thinking of taking out um, because when it becomes tapped. So I, I assume I need something to tap this card. Um, but I do enjoy it. Um, I don't think you can tap it just to tap it. I think you need something to tap it. Either that or it's like you can't tap an attack kind of thing. It's just like if... It's there, and then you can tap it, and it does it. I need to look at the ruling for it um, to, ch to check. And then we have two body doubles, which I believe can come, become a copy of a target in the graveyard, too? Yeah, yeah, in the graveyard. So that basically, if you were to kill any of my creatures, I can play body double and get my creatures back, basically. that's She's my, like, oh, you killed my stuff, but guess what? I still have it back anyway. 
Um, and then we got a couple cancels in here. Which, if you're a magic player, you know what cancel is. It's, and if you're not, it's just it's a counter spell, which means it it, it makes sure it, it ensures that not always, but it counters uh, an opponent's spell. So they want to play something, you play cancel, and it cancels that spell basically. How? Oh, okay. That these might be the ones going in, or do I have these out? No, I took those ones out. They're still in here. I don't know why they're still in the deck box. I had two cards that I switched out. And then we have... Um, I, I mean, I guess there's another blue creature in this. It's more an enchantment creature. Um, archetype of Imagination. That way, uh, it gives all of my stuff flying. And it makes my opponents lose flying. So it's just more like controlly bullshit to, you know, make people mad at me. All right, so now we can go to the multicolored cards. Um, let's do this. I believe this is what I have a play set in. How many cards do we have? 49? Okay, so Evil Twin. Evil Twin is probably... This is, the, this is pretty much the card I based the deck around is Evil Twin. So they're dirt cheap, but it enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Except I can destroy that creature. So, I mean, it says Battle Bond on here, but I have um, one from the original Innistrad set. Yeah, there it says it right there. Innistrad. So uh, that's basically what this deck was built around so basically just stealing your cards and then fucking you over out of everything else um and then we have uh let's see yep 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 let's get her out of the way oh cards cards almost sliding everywhere we have atrada which is another card that this is this deck is basically based around when I like that. She can't be blocked, but when she does damage, you put a counter on a creature, a target controls, or they exile. Yeah. Uh, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on it. And then if that player controls three or more creatures with hit counters on them, they lose the game. So, like, Archetype of Imagination gets her flying. All of your creatures lose flying. Plus, she can't be blocked anyway. And if I have a bunch of my other creatures out, then you're too busy worried about them or you know because i you know i have a bunch of other stuff in here to kind of distract from that so now we have vela look at that vela the nightclad i don't have four of her though i only have two where you at two vela the nightclads um, intimidate other it gives other creatures intimidate and most of my friends don't really run artifact creatures um, one of my friends does, but since I have Archetype of Imagination in there and I have stuff to destroy creatures, it's not really going to matter. So they're going to be screwed anyway, and they're not going to be able to block any of my stuff. I'm going to get rid of their flying. I'm going to take their flying. And then this is pretty much a, um, I guess a second win con if everything else fails um frasca the unseen ma mainly for her ultimate which is cr it creates three assassin tokens and when they deal damage that player loses the game so that's the first deck um it says there's 62 cards where did i go wrong here or is there 62 cards in this deck there's two there's two there's two there's two there's four Three Atar of Trotas, yep, three Gaunties, two of them, two of them, two of them, yep, yep. No, well, maybe there were 62 cards. Oh, no, because there's not four Vraska of the Unseen, so there's fucking, there's only two Vraska of the Unseen. Yeah, so 60 cards. So, um, let us see here. Uh, can I scroll down? No, that's not what I want to do. It's been a while since I've been on this website, too, so um, let us see here. Can already have a deck to upload. 
I mean, I wish I could see it, but my thing is in the way. So let's just, let's do that. Okay. Um, now we can save. Ignore everything else in the background. It's just stupid random shit. Um, and look at that. It's saved. I can share it to Facebook. If you guys want me to, I can. Um, let's hit OK. Now we can zoom back in and we can go over everything real quick. So these videos look like they're going to be about the same amount of time as a regular video, about 20 minutes or so. So, I mean, that's okay. I was hoping they'd be a little shorter, but since none of my cards are organized, since I'm a terrible human being, that's how it's going to go. So it tells you the lands, 22 lands, 8 instants, 2 sorceries, 2 planeswalkers, 26 creatures. Um, details, looked at mana distribution, kind of works, 63%, 34%, mana sources, 47 I could maybe use a little more black in there. Um... Card types, yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of a decent split. Um, maybe you want a little more land in there, but I really haven't had too much trouble with it. I really don't have anything till what, turn four? Yeah, so, like, I can't really do, I have those, um, oh, convert them mana cost, four creatures. I mean, I have counter spells. Yeah, turn three. Yeah, turn two, I could play some stuff. Turn three, turn three and turn four is what most of it is, which is, good i believe that's what you want but here the, this is what i really like it gives you the price so Vraska's contempt nope um we have body double which is the most expensive card and then there's the total total of the deck is 48 dollars, so it's not very expensive um like i said a lot of these are cards that i already had um visual spoilers um, let's see what the starting hand would be. Two lands. I mean, I guess I would I would keep the starting. And let's see. Yeah, let's let's say we play that and we add another card. Play that. I uh, still can't play nothing. Let's add a card. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So I'd have to discard a card, no mana, and watch me get mana screwed. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it goes. So what if we what if we mulligan? Yeah, two lands again, three lands. It's gonna keep going down until you have one card left. So um, there's that. Uh, if you guys liked this video, if you enjoyed this kind of video, um, please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell icon. That way you get notified. Um, every time I upload a new video and if you did really enjoy these videos just let me know in the comments below and I can do more of them um, I've got plenty of decks to make content for a while and there's a lot of decks rattling around in my head um, I don't play commander but um, I'd be willing to write down a commander list that I would like and get on here and deck stats and make it like I just I, I enjoy making decks. I enjoy playing magic. I enjoy going through cards as time consuming and as much as of a headache it gives me sometimes. But it's fun and it's something that I consider to be a hobby. Um, I do like collecting cards and um I, that'll that'll be it. So uh, I will see you guys on the next video.